Don't stop now. You can be louder than that. Come on now. Fantastic. What a great group of people up here tonight. So again, welcome once again to the senior convocation for the class of 2023. It's been quite a journey, and we are going to have some amazing celebrations over the course of this next week. To start our ceremony off today, we have our CHS balladeers under the direction of Dr. Simmons here on the end. So if we could all please stand and play, uh, pay tribute to our country as we signal the flag right behind me on the wall, the Balladeers. Or the flag that has just dropped into the middle of the gymnasium. That's a bigger flag. Let's use that one. All right. All right, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you the master of ceremonies today, the class president of the class of 2023, Miss Riley Rice. today, all the friends and families and all the underclassmen who probably don't want to be sitting through this for two hours, but we all appreciate you being here anyways. Um, so uh, to start off our ceremony, our wonderful band is going to be playing Don't Stop Me Now by Queen. So can we all give a hand for Miss Jewel and the band?
thanks again, man. We appreciate all of the events that you play at and all of your amazing work. You guys truly are unbelievable. Um, next up, I want to introduce um, our class advisors, Mr. Fischel and Mrs. Papnow. Mrs. Papnow is unfortunately in a wheelchair, so Mr. Fischel is going to be the one um, giving these speeches and doing all of the recognition. So please give a hand for Mr. Fischel. Perfect. Thank you. Today, as your class advisor, I stand before you with a mixture of relief, gratitude, and a touch of awe. It feels like just yesterday that we welcomed you into the halls of CHS as freshmen, ready to conquer the world. And now, here we are, on the verge of bidding farewell to a class that has not only overcome the usual challenges of high school, but also triumphed over the formidable adversity known as COVID-19. First and foremost, I want to commend each and every one of you for your unwavering strength, adaptability, and determination during this extraordinary time. As freshmen, you were thrown into the deep end of a, of a pandemic, facing unprecedented, unprecedented disruptions to your education, social lives, and sense of normalcy. But instead of succumbing to despair, you rallied together as a united front, spreading your wings and soaring above the adversity. The COVID-19 pandemic tested your resilience in ways we never could have imagined. It forced you to adapt to remote and hybrid learning, to find creative ways to stay connected with your friends and loved ones, and to navigate the uncertainty and fear that pervaded our world. But through it all, you demonstrated the true spirit rising above the challenges with grace and determination. As you prepare to leave these halls, that we witness your laughter, tears, and everything in between, I want you to remember the beautiful moments we shared as a family. The late night study sessions, the spirited pep rallies, the quiet conversations all hold a special place in our hearts. These memories will forever be woven into the tapestry of our collective experience. The future may still hold uncertainties, but you have already proven your ability to adapt, to navigate uncharted territories, and to find light in the darkest of times. Your time in high school was marked by resilience and courage, and those qualities will continue to serve you well as you venture into the world beyond, behind these walls. As you embark on this new chapter, remember the lessons you learned during the pandemic. Cherish the importance of community, value the human connection, and the need to prioritize both physical and mental well-being. The experiences you have had during this time have shaped you in unique ways, making you more compassionate, empathetic, and appreciative of the little things in life. In this age of uncertainty, remember the strength that lies within you. You have faced one of the greatest challenges of our time head on and emerged stronger for it. Carry that resilience with you. Embrace the unexpected and know that you have the power to overcome any hurdle that comes your way. As you prepare to take that final walk across the stage, know that you carry with you, with you the experience of overcoming a pandemic the memories of a class that banded together, and the knowledge that you are capable of extraordinary resilience. Class of 2023, may your future be filled with triumphs over adversity, and may you continue to inspire others with your unbeatable spirit. Congratulations on reaching the, this remarkable milestone, and thank you for remembering us all of the power of resilience and the strength of the human spirit. Thank you. At this time, I would also like to recognize the class of 2023 officers. So will the class of 23 officers come up to the stage? As they're making their way to their stage, um, I just want to talk briefly about them. So these officers really have worked hard. A lot of the experiences and events that we had over the course of this year and previous years would not have been possible without their dedication and hard work throughout it all. No matter what happened, pandemic, money issues, whatever it may be, they were willing to, they worked through it, they navigated it well. So I would like to recognize each of them. So our, the 2023 class council representative was Mohammed Kwasma. The treasurer is Brooke Hudson. The, 
The secretary, Allison King. The vice president, Julia Kirk. And your president, Riley Rice. Let's give one last round of applause for all of them. So as a big thank you to our advisors, we wanted to give them a little gift of our beautiful faces because they just love us so much. So this is a gift to Mr. Fischl and Ms. Papineau. So give them one more round of applause. <laughs> We are now going to start into all of our academic recognition. And so the very first person I want to um, bring up here is Mr. Stevens, who is uh, the president of the National Honor Society. And he's going to be giving out a couple awards. So give it up for Mr. Stevens. Actually, I'll be giving out 25 awards, more than a couple awards, but Allie and Julia, are you guys trying out for Dancing with the Stars? Yes. <laughs> you look pretty good up there. Um, before we get started, I'd like uh, uh, three people to come forward. They're going to help um, uh, pass out the stoles. So if I could have Eric Rocker, Bushra Ahmed, and Al Ayat Al Sufi, you could all come to the front here. And we'll, we'll uh, tell, the, tell you how we actually do the stoles in just a minute. But uh, thank you for having us here today. Uh, it's an honor to be the advisor for National Honor Society. Moms and dads, you've done a great job. Um, the people we're going to honor today epitomize the four pillars of National Honor Society. Scholarship, leadership, service, and character. And along those lines, I'd just like to say a little something about Ayat, because she sent me an email yesterday and she said, hey, if you want to help, you need some help with the stoles, I'd be more than happy to. And at first I thought, well, we got two people, it's okay. And then I started to think, well, wait a second here. This is exactly the sort of um, traits that we like to see in our National Honor Society members. So I think that she just epitomizes what we expect of our members in the course of a year. We had lots of great service projects we did, had a great partnership uh, with the Shelter House and other things. So I'm really, really proud of our group as a whole and I'm really proud of our seniors. So when I call, call off your name, you're gonna have to take off your cap, okay? Come to the front. Um, one of these people is gonna give you a stole to put the stole over your, uh, over your head. And we'll start off on Bushra's side, you'll line up uh, in the middle, we'll work our way to the left, and we'll alternate Bushra, Eric, Bushra, Eric, so on and so forth, so we don't have too many uh, glitches as far as that goes. All right, so, Ayat, I'm giving you a special honor here, okay? So the first person we're gonna, oh, if you could hold your applause until I introduce all 25 people, I appreciate it. So you get the honor of doing the very first one, your sister, Aya El Sufi, if you come to the front, please. Ruan Atwain. Stephen Cole. Jasmine Frantum. Sydney Gallup. Jillian Hover. Brooke Hudson.
Fasia Jabri. Abigail Jones. <laughs> Heidi Katz. <laughs> Ilsa Katz. <laughs> Allison King. <laughs> the other part of the dance team, Julia Kirk. Carly Nicely, Emma Madden, Karen Mancera, Shakura McQueet, Jonathan Nizwicki. Riley Rice, Kaylee Rishar, Kendall Safransky, Brian Torres Alcatar, Liam Van Wagner. Madison Wilson, and our president, Ethan Woodcox. We'll do this one more time. Thanks for the clap, but I'd like to present to you the seniors of the National Honor Society, the 2023 graduates. One more big round of applause, please. You are excused. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Stevens. Also, you can see in our program today, um, this is the day that we hand out the academic awards that our students have earned through their hard perseverance in their classes based on their overall GPAs here at the end of their senior year. So we're gonna call up a couple of our uh, important student council members from the senior class to call out these awards. Again, um, there are oftentimes multiple. Uh, this first category has 48 different students who earned the Level of Honors Award, uh, having a 3.0 to 3.399 GPA. So as these names are called off by Jillian Hover, who's going to come up here uh, to do this, uh, if you could please hold your applause until Jillian is done uh, recognizing the students, then we won't miss anyone's names. Uh, Mrs. Searles and uh, our superintendent, Ms. let's give a round of applause for our superintendent, Mrs. Whelan. More to come later on that. Jillian, come on up here to announce those students in the class of 2023 who have earned their bronze cords to be worn at the graduation ceremony for earning a 3.0 to 3.399 overall GPA. Jillian Hover. Hello. Uh, first we have Sam Baker. Amawaj Alakri. Rana Alakri. Al Kasmi Al Kasmi. Reem Al Sufi. Mohammed Atalu.
Shema Hatu. Kiba and Ajar. Eduardo Oroyo. Bodhi Bates. Alexis Bills. Logan Kleckner. Chase Cockrell, Carter Collins, Brooklyn Felbauer, Mackenzie Friend, Kevin Hall, Charisma Harrington. Egan Herlin, <laughs> Melissa Hernandez, Skylar Horn, Mohanan Hassan, <laughs> Jason Irwin. Garrett Johns, Maverick Johnson, Parker Jones, Brooklyn Carey, Aliyah Laverne, Nicole Livings, Cohen Lazinski. Michelle Mata, Brody McFarlane, Pedro Ocampo, Haroon Omar, Cambry Phillips, Rodrigo Ramos, Yana Reyes, Ivan Rosales Cortez, Chase Rubley, Mauricio Salgado Galindo. Gia Schmaltz, Minar Shamala, <laughs> Rohan Singh, Aiden Seth, <laughs> Callie Stout, Samuel Thorne. Anna Marie Force and Michaela Juhas Jones. Let's give one more huge round of applause for those seniors graduating cum laude with honors. Thanks, guys. Our next level of academic recognition are those who are um, graduating with high honors. Those are magna cum laude. These are students who will be given silver cords today to represent that their final GPA in high school was between a 3.4 and a 3.6999 GPA. There are 18 of them. I'd like to bring up Karen Mancera, please, to introduce these students. Hello. Welcome. 
we'll start off with Islam Adam. Anwar Al Haag. Austin Atkins. Bailey Atkins. Samuel Bernard. Riley Bradshaw. Angel Cabrera. Brady Crabtree. Lillian Decker. Randy Dudek. Carly Nisley. Sophia Lobsher. Emma Madden. Radhaya Mohammed. Thikra Sala. Lauren Shortridge. Isabella Tunney. And Chloe Vickers. Let's once again give a big round of applause to those students graduating with their silver honor course this year. And I know it feels slightly awkward not applauding for every single student, but perhaps in this next category, again, you'll see why. There's 45 students in the class of 2023 who are graduating with a 3.7 GPA or higher um, through their high school career. So it's a tremendous accomplishment, a large number of students. Um, we'll have this similarly when we announce a lot of the athlete, uh, athletes from the class. So we do appreciate you holding your applause, that way we're able to hear everybody's name and also move along well. No disrespect, obviously, to the honors that are being achieved here today. So to introduce the 45, again, this is a huge number of students in the class of 2023, graduating with a 3.7 or higher GPA, wearing their gold cords during graduation, Aya El Sufi, please. <laughs> Malik Abdullah, Bara Al Jabri, Zainab Al Qirsh, Rowan Atwain, Sloan Cougar, Stephen Covell, Jasmine Frantum, Rebecca Frantum. Sydney Gallup, Destiny Hart, Jillian Haver, Trevor Hensinger, Brooke Hudson, Fatia Jibri, Daniela Yasso, Abigail Jones, Heidi Katz, Ilsa Katz, Allison King, Julia Kirk, Karen and Sarah Rodriguez, Elena McDougall, Huda Muhammad, Aisha Muhammad, Hunter Munson, Shakura Muki, Jonathan Nedzwicki, Abdul Qadir Omar, <laughs> a 
Alexa Omo, Brianna Omo, Haley Potter, Mohammed Guzma, Riley Rice, Kaylee Rishar, Rachel Rutz, Elijah Sloan, Alexandra Stewart, Kendall Safransky, Brian Torres Alcantar, Liam Van Wagner, Estrella Villa, Madison Wilson, Ethan Woodcock, and Yasin Yahya. And in addition, Aya El Sufi as well. <clears throat> Let's give these students one more big round of applause, graduating with highest honors for the class of 2023. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. You'll notice in your program, we do have one more recognition of academic achievement here at our school that we have honored for many years. These students are recognized as what are called senior scholars. So senior scholars is a program that recognizes students both for how they perform academically in our classes here at the high school, but also through a calculation uses their score, their performance on the uh, college entrance SAT test. So the senior scholars um, may not always be the top academic student, but they may have really rocked it out on the SAT and performed amazingly well. So it is a combination between the two things. How well did you do in high school classes? How well did you prepare yourself to uh, hopefully do exceedingly well in college also? So the senior scholars are recognized during graduation by name. That pulls them out just a little differently than the other students. Uh, also, we award them with an academic medal. So uh, Mrs. Searles and Mrs. Whelan are going to be uh, putting the medals on our senior scholars. Again, please, as uh, I call their names, hold their applause until we get all of them up here. There are 14. Can we give it up for Mrs. Searles as well? That's right. She's amazing. Incredible. All right, the senior scholars for the class of 2023 being recognized today. Please come up front for your medals. Stephen Koval, Rebecca Frantum, Jillian Hover, Ilsa Katz, and Heidi Katz, Allison King, Julia Kirk, Karen Mansara, Aisha Mohammed, Shakura Mukit, Jonathan Nitzwicki, Alexandra Stewart, Liam Van Wagner, and Ethan Woodcox. Let's bring them all up front, please. There should have been. Okay. So I apologize for a miscount of awards. Um, we try very hard to make sure that doesn't happen. So we will get you your medal, obviously before graduation, um, for that accomplishment. Again, a huge round of applause, please, for our senior scholars in the class of 2023. Thank you, students. We also have seniors who um, are here going through the graduation ceremony. They have committed to a 13th year of school at KCC. 
our partner with our Branch County Early College program. So these 13 student or these 13th year students, early college students, um, are earning their Bruins KCC uh, stoles as well to be worn during the graduation ceremony this year. They will complete another year of school at KCC next year, but their graduation class really is the class of 2023. So if we could please bring up our early middle college students to get your uh, blue, blue and silver, blue and silver Bruins cords. Again, please hold your applause till the end. Eduardo Aurora, Jesse Belt, Abraham Campos, Christian Clark, Chase Cockrell, Sloan Coger, Natalie Copas, Stephen Koval, Randy Dudek, Cindy or Sydney Gallup, Maverick Johnson, Abigail Jones, Carly Nicely, Kyler Crandy, Aliyah Laverne, Nicole Livings, Huda Muhammad, Haroon Omar, Albuquerque Omer, Natalie Patino, Tegan Rabadou, Rachel Rutz, Donovan Sharpley, Rohan Singh, Eliza Taylor, Isabella Tenney, Wyatt Tuttle, and Liam Van Wagner. If we could please give a big round of applause, we'll get Liam up here. So again, the nice thing about the Branch County Early College program, this is a program that students must commit to as a 10th grader. Um, they then take more than what's typically allowable college classes during their junior and senior year. The huge benefit to these students is their next year at KCC is basically paid for for the state of Michigan as they sometimes are able to even complete their uh, associate's degree at KCC in one year after high school. So again, one more big round of applause to those who have committed themselves to the early middle college program. Thanks guys. As you know, we have an amazing partnership with the Branch Area Careers Center. And uh, we have invited, we're always very happy to have them here. We've invited the Director of Programs there, Mr. Dustin Schurer, to present some of the awards for our seniors from their programming at the Career Center and also to recognize the National Technical Honors Society members in the class of 2023. So please, let's welcome Mr. Schurer. Thank you, Bill. Um, first off, I just want to tell you uh, it is a privilege to be here to represent the Branch Area Career Center. And to start off, I'd just like any of the students that attended the Branch Area Career Center this year uh, just to please stand for recognition. Thank you. Uh, we are just honored to have such a great group of students um, from Coldwater High School that join us um, every day and just do a great job over at the Career Center. Um, today I am here um, to honor some students that, that stood out. Um, back on May 18th, we did have our senior ceremony where we recognized these students. Um, the NTHS kids received their cords and the outstanding students uh, received their certificates, um, but we would like to recognize them today. So I'm going to kind of reverse the order here a little bit. I'm going to start with our CHS students. Um, these students had to maintain a 3.0 GPA here at CHS as well as remain in good standing and then over at the Career Center with us they must have a 3.5 GPA or better and must belong to a career and technical student organization. Um, so the students um, if you just come up front and, and line up and again please hold your applause to the end um, and I'll read off your names here. So 
uh, Rodrigo Ramos, Abdul Kader Omar, Sam Abubaker, Amwara Alakari, Pedro Ocampo, Brian Torres Alcantar, Anne Marie Vorse, Sophia Lobshear, Manar Shamala, Rana Alakari, Hiba Anajar, Kylie Rashar, Rachel Rutz, Logan Kleckner, Garrett Johns, Parker Jones, Chase Rubley, Stephen Koval, Liam Van Wagner, Bailey Atkins, Samuel Thorne, Barl Agabri, Rowan Atwain, Abigail Jones, Thikra Sala, Angel Cabrera, Reem Alfusi, Carly Nisley, Sydney Gallup, Haley Potter, Muhammad Kwasma, Rowan Singh, Yusin Yaya, and Carter Collins. Please come up. Again, we'd like to congratulate all of the Branch Area Career Center National Technical Honor Society seniors. Congratulations, students. The second recognition I'd like to share with you today um, is a very special one. These are the outstanding seniors of the year. Um, each of the program managers votes for their top senior in their program. And this year, uh, Coldwater um, had five of those. So again, when I call your name, if you'd please come stand at the front for recognition. From our business, market, our business management marketing technology program, Leandro Cardenas. From our career readiness program, Natalie Patino. From our CNT program, computer uh, and networking technologies, Brian Torres Alcantar. From health practicum, Sydney Gallup. And our on the job training, Chase Rubley. Again, we'd like to congratulate these students for being the best in their class. Congratulations. And the last award wasn't on the agenda, um, but I do want to recognize a student who won our Principal's Award. Um, perseverance is an act of never giving up, especially if you don't know how you're going to accomplish this challenge, the challenge you're facing. This student was selected um, for this year's Branch Area Career Center's Principals Award, demonstrate a high level of perseverance over the years. He came to school despite his circumstances and always had a great attitude. We truly appreciate his friendliness to staff and other students and his willingness to help any and everybody. This year's recipient was William Rubin. Again, we'd like to thank Coldwater Schools for just a wonderful partnership and allowing us to share um, our recognitions here with you today. So, and congratulations to all of the graduates, the class of 2023, go out there and do something special. Sorry guys, I'm short. So I give kudos to this next group of uh, kids because I simply don't know how they do it. Um, Ms. Searles is going to come up next and she's going to be introducing the Senior Attendance Recognition Awards. So, Ms. Searles.
All right, I give this award out every year, and every year um, I try and have a little speech. And this year I wanted to talk about the fact that kids that come to school learn a lot more than just education. They learn how to be a part of a team. They learn how to work hard. These two students, I have two, that um, they overcame a lot of things this year. They came to school every single day. I'm not sure if I asked for hands in the audience of how many adults don't call in to work at least once in a while, right? So I'm very proud to announce these two people. They showed perseverance, and they were very, very good students while here. I would like to see Kaylee Riker and Samuel Bernard to come up here, please. Next up, we have our Senior Interact Member Recognition, and Ms. Davis will come up and present those awards. I have the opportunity to recognize the active senior members of the Interact Club. We pride ourselves on our motto of service above self. These senior members have spent lots and lots of hours volunteering and working to make our school, our community, and even our world a better place to live in. When I call your name, please stand up to be recognized. Uh, Bara Al-Gabri, Aya Al-Sufi, Haba Anajar, Rowan Atwain, Bodhi Bates, Rebecca Frantum, Jasmine Frantum, Sydney Gallup, Kevin Hall, Fafia Jabri, Daniela Jasso, Abigail Jones, Heidi Katz, Ilsa Katz, Allison King, Julia Kirk, Karen Mancera, Aisha Mohammed, Helena Moyano, Josephine Newman, Alexa Omo, Manny Ortiz, Sophia Poza, Riley Rice, Kaylee Richar, Thikra Saleh, Alex Stewart, Callie Stout, and Kendall Safransky. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Davis. Next up, we have the Seal of Bioliteracy Awards, and Mrs. Havogans is going to be presenting that. Good morning, graduates. And I'm joining me today is Mrs. Heaton and Mrs. Davis because they were instrumental in bringing this program to Coldwater High School. So on behalf of Coldwater High School, we are very proud to announce for the first time ever in school history, five students who have earned the Michigan Department of Education's Seal of Biliteracy Award. These students have demonstrated advanced proficiency in reading, writing, speaking, and listening at an advanced level in both English and another language by taking a very difficult four-part test that took days to accomplish. The Michigan Seal of Biliteracy serves an endorsement to employers that a high school graduate enters the workforce with highly desired skills in more than one language. In addition to that, colleges and universities in Michigan and nationwide are using the seal to recognize applicants' language abilities for admissions decisions, placement into language classes, and granting credit. We hope to see more Cardinals in the class of 2024 take advantage of this opportunity next year. At this time, please welcome to the stage this year's five Michigan Department of Education Seal of Biliteracy recipients. 
The first one is Islam Adam. Amwaj El Akri. Samuel Bernard. Mohanad Hossein. And Huda Mohammed. Let's give one big more round of applause for our first ever Seal of Fight Literacy students. It is quite a hard accomplishment. Thank you. Now is the time in our ceremony where we have asked our departments within the school to select one senior student in the class of 2023 that they would like to recognize that exemplified what they expect students not only to learn, but how they want them to engage in their learning and perform in their classrooms. So I'm going to be introducing the spokespeople for these departments to come up and present the senior department awards. First up for the science department, let's welcome Mr. Demeester. Good morning, everyone. The recipient of our science award has taken multiple AP classes um, and already at the end of his junior year, he was an AP scholar with distinction. And that means you've done extremely well on all of the AP classes or AP tests that you've taken. He was in my AP biology class during our totally screwed up year, where we only uh, met with the kids half the time. And my students that year had to learn all of their lectures from YouTube. My pretty face was on YouTube giving all their lectures that year. Uh, and even though he had a rough uh, year as far as the class, he did exceptionally well on the AP test that year. I know from personal experience, his math and science skills are exceptional and that's gonna help him in his pursuit of a career someday. Not only is this person a great student, he's a great person, and I and the rest of the science department wish him luck in the future. It's my honor at this time to award the Senior Science Student Award to John Knightswitzky. Thank you, Mr. Demeester. One more round of applause for John. Next, representing our English department is the one and only Miss Lewis. But definitely not the old Miss Lewis. Right, Mr. Milnes? Okay, hello. Um, there are so many wonderful individuals in this graduating class of 2023. And if I could, I would give everyone award, an award. But, alas, I have but one award to give. And I'm here to recognize one student who for four years has cons consistently exceeded all expectations in all of the English courses we have to offer here at Coldwater High School. This young lady has shown every single year <clears throat> intellectual curiosity and, and a passion for reading. I learned this pretty early on when she was a sophomore in my Honors English 10 class. She was convinced that Lenny Small was a serial killer 
And on her own accord, she prepared a very impressive presentation trying to convince, and successfully I might add, her whole class that Lenny Small was indeed a serial killer and that George helped him. I don't think I'll ever forget that as long as I live. She was so confident in her claim and I remember thinking, this is an impressive young lady. She went on to AP Lang and she did very well there, exceeding <clears throat> every expectation Mrs. Norris set for her. And somehow she found a way to include Harry Styles in all of her assignments. That's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true, but that's what, that's what I heard. So don't let that detail fool you. She went on to do very well on the AP Lang exam, which is not an easy thing to do. And this year, as if that wasn't enough, she took both of the English electives that we have to offer. And I have it on very good authority that she was a formidable debate opponent in her communications class. And in creative writing, she was methodical and she thought very carefully about the stories that she wanted to tell and that were worth telling. And every single story that she submitted had depth that affected me as her audience. So on behalf of the English department, it is my pleasure and great honor to present Miss Jillian, Julia Kirk, I did it again, I'm so sorry. Julia Kirk with an award for showing outstanding achievement in English. One more round of applause for Julia. Now representing our social studies department, I'd like to bring back up Mr. Stevens. Thank you, Mr. Milnes. I'm here representing the social studies department. Uh, we have a really solid group of teachers, Mrs. Moore, Mrs. Milligan, Ms. Kiss. Mr. DeBow, Mr. Spray, Mr. McConnell, and I think I saw him sitting over there somewhere. Mr. Kirk's going to be joining us next year in our social studies department. It's a solid department. It's an honor to work with these people. So when we got together to decide who was going to be our social studies student of the year, frankly, it was a pretty easy selection. We had a lot of great students, but that person is Mr. Ethan Woodcox. If we had a pantheon of great students in the, at CHS, Ethan would certainly be in that. I've been here for th over 30 years, and he would be in the top 10. He's an excellent student in every discipline, and particularly in our area, social studies. He's had the highest score in all the social studies AP tests he's taken so far, European history, US history, and comparative government. Uh, he's taking psychology this year, and I think Mr. McConnell's up there. He's a surefire five, would you say so? I would say so, too. And I, I would say the same thing in AP US government. Matter of fact, uh, about four years ago, I had the honor of another student, uh, Selena Hostetler, Mr. Hostetler's daughter, and she actually got a perfect score on her AP government uh, test that year. And Ethan and I kind of have a little running thing. We're shooting for that. And I would not be one bit surprised if he came back with a perfect score uh, next year, about this time. He's going to be attending U uh, University of Michigan to study political science. Much to the chagrin of my buddy, Mr. Sheets. Uh, we like to talk about students every once in a while. We talk about Ethan. And you know, Sheets got, gets that look on his face. And he says, he should be doing something in math. <laughs> <laughs> But maybe he'll do both. You know, there's a lot of analytical studies and things they can do in that. Ethan has great intellect, great curiosity, excellent uh, analytical thinking skills, but by far his greatest trait is his work ethic and his t uh, tenacity. He leaves absolutely no st stone unturned in regards to academics. 
He is second to none in that regard. Thomas Edison, the guy that did the light bulb, not Thomas Jefferson, who was the Declaration of Independence, provided a quote that I think fits Ethan to a T. Genius is 1% inspiration, 99% perspiration. Is, if that is a true definition of genius, then we have a genius in our midst, in Mr. Ethan Woodcox. So I'd like you to join me, please, in giving a big round of applause for the 2023 Social Studies Student of the Year, Ethan Woodcox. Thanks, Mr. Stevens. One more round of applause for Ethan. Congratulations. Next up, representing the math department, who gets the microphone after Mr. Stevens, we'll bring it up Mr. Sheets. Good morning, everyone, in class of 2023. I am here on behalf of our CHS Mathematics Department to honor our Senior Student of the Year. Um, we pick our student through a criteria of AP scores, classes taken, SAT scores, GPA, and so forth. But every single year, it seems like the criteria falls down to one main trait, and that main trait is curiosity. Uh, in mathematics, you have to have a really strong analytical mind, and you have to be able to process deeply. Uh, but you also have to have a creativity and an intuition and know which direction you want to take that process. Uh, the student this year stood out drastically in that regard. Uh, constantly, I was bombarded with questions about uh, four-dimensional vector field spaces and uh, quantum field theory and complex number systems. And there were great conversations that I had with this student, but what I saw was a young man with a brilliant analytical mind and an intuition and bridging those two things with a really powerful trait of curiosity. So I'm very honored this year to award the 2023 Senior Math Student of the Year to John Mizzou. Another round of applause also for Mr. Nitzwicki. Thanks, Mr. Sheets. Next to award the Excellence in Spanish Award, we bring back up Miss Davis. It is my privilege to select one of you to present the Senior Spanish Award. Fortunately for me, one student stands out because of his determination and perseverance. He completed all four years of Spanish here at CHS by taking both Spanish three and Spanish four in his senior year as an independent study student. He enjoys learning the language, he uses it in his everyday life at work and at school. It is with great pride that I award Samuel Thorne with the Senior Spanish Award. Yes, one more round of applause for Sam. Next, representing the students in our English language classes, I'd like to bring back up Mrs. Heaton. Hello again. In years past, there was very little doubt about who should receive this award for our EL department. There was always that one student who stood out as the top English language learner for their graduating class. This year, however, there was more of a debate. There were so many wonderful EL students who were deserving of this award, so our senior EL students have a lot to be proud of. We determined that the recipient of this award must meet the following criteria. 
One, be a student in our essentials classes for English language learners. Two, become proficient on the WIDA English proficiency test. Three, perform well academically in their core classes. And four, be involved at CHS beyond the classroom. This year's winner of the EL Department Award accomplished all of these things. He started out in some of our essentials classes when he first arrived in the United States last year. Then he passed the WIDA test and proved that he was proficient in English. He became involved in the basketball program, was a thrower on the track team, a member of the National Honor Society, and became a mentor to other EL students in both science and math. The cherry on top to all of these achievements came when he was one of the first students in school history to earn the Michigan Seal of Biliteracy for demonstrating advanced proficiency in both English and Haitian Creole. He even asked me if it was possible to earn a seal of tri-literacy because he was confident that he could also pass the French test. In a world where many people are monolingual, this student stands out because he is fluent in three languages. I am proud to welcome to the stage Mr. Samuel Bernard. Yes, we'll go round of applause for Samuel. Next in our program, you will see us announcing some of the awards for performing arts and also for our art program. Uh, Mrs. Jewell is going to be presenting both of these two categories. So let's bring up to the microphone, Mrs. Jewell. Good morning. My name is Mrs. Jewell and I'm the band director here at Coldwater High School and I have the great honor of representing all of my colleagues in the Fine Arts Department, Mr. Aaron Wood and Dr. Jacob Simmons and Ms. Chelsea Wilbur. We already presented our band awards at our band concert, but we do want to recognize them. So we'll just have um, the band students come up to the front and line up in front of the stage, please. The first award is the Keller Award, which is named after a previous band student who had a lot of dedication. So this award is given for students that um, have the highest level of dedication and service to the band. And the winners of that award were Brian Torres Alcantar and Jillian Hauber. The Holcomb Award is given to students who demonstrate the highest level of skill on their instrument. And that award was presented to Riley Harvey and Jonathan Nudzwicki. The John Philip Sousa Award is basically a combination of the first two awards, the highest level of dedication and service and a very high uh, level of skill on their instrument. And that award was presented to Carly Nisley. This year, the choir member of the year is being presented to a person that has well earned this award for stepping into a leadership position in her first year of choir, for leading with her talents, positivity, and maturity, and for helping foster an atmosphere of productivity and inclusivity. It's my honor to present this award to Shakura Mukit. And then this uh, senior art student of the year is going to somebody um, who is a very, very talented artist and will be attending the University of Michigan next year for art. So she's already up here. Let's give it up for Shakura McKeat.
All right, thank you guys. You can have a seat. Good job. Let's give it up for all the band, choir, and art seniors. Thank you. I've kept Ms. Uh, Mukit up here just for a minute longer because um, here today we have with us Tannis Allen. She's the daughter of a longtime Coldwater Schools art teacher, Mary Jo Allen, who passed away in February of 2021. And Tannis and her family would like to additionally honor our top art senior with an additional recognition in memory of their mother. So again, please welcome Tannis Allen. Good morning, everyone. I'm so pleased to be here to present this award and to, to hear all about our award recipient. I'm very excited about this because um, I actually live in Ann Arbor and attended the University of Michigan, where you will be. So very exciting. You can come find me if you need to. So anyway, this award, um, as Mr. Milnes mentioned, is in honor of our mother who spent 30 years teaching art here in Coldwater. Um, she graduated from CHS, as did all of we, all of us, and um, was very, very proud to be a Coldwater Cardinal all her life. Um, she went to Michigan State University to earn her um, bachelor's in education of art and came back and taught here at the high school and then at the junior high for all those years and her passion was really to encourage and inspire and be present with students that were exploring their creativity. And her, her feeling was everyone was an artist and is an artist um, if they can embrace that spirit of creativity and inspiration and take that out into the world. So that's the reason we created this Memorial Award for her. And we are very, very proud to present it to Shakira this morning. And as part of this, um, we also will be presenting a print of the very last painting that she um, did. Late, later in life, she continued to learn. She was a lifelong learner in art and um, took up watercolors specifically. So the last painting that she completed was happened to be of two cold water cardinals. I don't know if you guys can see this, but Shakira can take that and put it up in your dorm room at U of M. <laughs> so. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It's amazing how deep the cardinal spirit runs in the families that uh, grow up and go through Coldwater High School. Now's a little opportunity for me, it's not I believe in your program, but just a chance to give some uh, thoughts of gratitude to many of the people here. Um, first off, uh, as you know, Mrs. Whelan is retiring this year as the superintendent of schools of, uh, here in Coldwater. So I'd like to recognize and appreciate Mrs. Whelan for all that she has done for our school system. I also want to thank the best partner I could have here at the school for everything that we do and the things we celebrate, uh, Mrs. Searles. And I appreciate the strong partnership we have with the Career Center. Over 50% of our juniors and seniors spend half of their day in one of the best career and technical centers in the state of Michigan. So I'd like to recognize again Mr. Scherer for being here today. I want to give a big shout out to the staff here at CHS. If we could simply give the staff, the teachers, the custodians, everybody here, the people in the offices, a huge round of applause for all they do for the students. And in particular, a, an additional round of applause for two people who have really dedicated themselves over these many years to the class, the class advisors, Ms. Papanow and Mr. Fischel. I also want to recognize a very special uh, group of people that are going to help you today to travel safely from school to school and uptown for that swing out. 
um, and they dedicate so many early and late hours of their lives to making sure that our students get to and from school and to our events uh, in a safe manner. And believe me, if you've never sat on a bus with 40 people that don't necessarily always want to listen and you're trying to drive safely at the same time, um, these people are incredible. Can we give it up for our bus drivers here that are here? Yes. So like I said, not in the program, but each year um, during this assembly, we do like to recognize those people who we will not be seeing. Um, just like the class of 2023 will be leaving the halls of CHS. So we're gonna give a little bit of appreciation to people who have dedicated their time to the Cardinals. We're gonna start off with a uh, gentleman who this will be news for a lot of people. But um, when I bring him up, we're gonna have these people come up. We're gonna present them with their classroom sign to take with them as a symbol of their cardinal spirit here. But um, this first person um, has only been here for about two years, and he's had a great impact on our school, but he has been given a huge opportunity and a change in the direction of his life, um, life journey. So again, he's gonna be leaving at the end of the year, but we wanna bring up Mr. LeGroy. Where is he at? have him over there as I talk about him. All right, Mr. LeGroy. Mr. LeGroy has bounced around quite a bit. Mr. LeGroy has bounced around quite a bit throughout his lifetime. He has had a lot of different jobs in a lot of different places, and it wasn't until he worked as a behavioral therapist in schools around Los Angeles that he ever thought he would ever want to be a teacher. However, he feels extraordinarily lucky that his decision to become a teacher led him to Michigan, and from there led him directly here to Coldwater. From the moment he moved to Coldwater, everyone was very supportive and welcoming. Even though he's only been here for two years, the overwhelming warmth and positivity from everyone has made him feel like he could have grown up here. Next year, he's going to continue to bounce around a little while longer. He's moving to Cambodia, which is a country that's very close to his heart, and he's excited about the opportunity to impact the lives of these students in such a positive way. He'll always be enormously grateful for the experiences, opportunities, and relationships that everyone has given him. He's hopeful that the staff and students at his next school might be just even half as kind and welcoming as everyone has been here in Coldwater. He wanted to deeply and sincerely thank everyone here at CHS, and he says he can guarantee he'll be thinking of us wherever he goes. Thank you so much, and best of luck, Mr. LeGroy, on your next journey. Next, we'd like to bring up to the stage, Miss Lewis. Of course, as the creative writing teacher, we have the journey of Miss Lewis written as a story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Starts off with the classic, Once Upon a Time. Once upon a time, a young teacher discovered her dream teaching German in the small town of Coldwater, Michigan, and thus began one of the greatest adventures of her life. Her first month at the school would have been overwhelming if it had not been for the kindness and support of her colleagues and students. As time went on and the young teacher matured, wise, her knowledge and experience evolved. During her time at CHS, she taught a variety of classes, including four levels of German, seven different English classes. Some of her favorite memories were taking her German students to the German Christmas market in Chicago, helping multiple classes with the homecoming floats, and seeing her creative writing students develop their literary voices. Now 22 years have passed, and it's time for the new, older teacher. I've always just called her wise. Miss Lewis, yes, not old, um, to begin the new adventure. That was a good connection. Um, though she's very excited about her upcoming wedding this summer. Yeah. 
Miss Lewis will never forget her time nor her friends here at CHS. So congratulations on your upcoming wedding. Thank you for your 22 years of service and best wishes to you as you continue to change lives in the students of your next school. Give it up for Miss Lewis. Next, if we could pre please bring up Mrs. Louder. Now sometimes it's nice to do these tributes because many of you may not have known some of the other things that these teachers have taught or done over the years. So Mrs. Louder graduated from CHS in 1994, went on to Western Michigan University to earn her degree. She actually started teaching here in the middle school teaching science in 1998. She later also taught seventh and eighth grade math as well and during her time at the middle school, she became the science department co-chair, the cheerleading coach, and the student council advisor. After eight years at Lake, she transferred over here to CHS in 2005, where she has taught mathematics and earth science during her 17 years here. She's been a class advisor twice, the cheerleading coach for a short time, ran Team Green for several years, and has helped to bring lots of exchange students to CHS as a coordinator. She's also instrumental in making the, or helping to make uh, the Good Better Best Shop come here in Coldwater. Now that she's living, uh, now that she's leaving Coldwater Community Schools after 25 years, she'll be working for her family's electrical business with her husband and her son. Her daughter will be graduating from college at the end of the year and she plans to be there to support her as she navigates the real world. She also wants to be available to spend time with her parents while she also enjoys a lot of camping, traveling, and spending time at their cabin in Northern Michigan. So thank you, Mrs. Louder, for your 25 years of teaching here in Coldwater. We wish you the best and safe travels. And here we go. Now bringing up to the stage, Mrs. Buckland. A true cardinal right down to the pants, that's for sure. So you may or may not have known, but Mrs. Bucklin is also a graduate of Coldwater High School from 1975. There's another one. There, yeah, oh, I know you. All right. Um, she's been involved in education for the last 36 years, the last 23 of them here at Coldwater High School. And throughout those years, everyone has gotten to know Mrs. Buckland. She's been a paraprofessional, a concession stand coordinator, a class advisor, the number one supporter of all athletic programs, a school photographer for almost all of our school events and activities, and most importantly, a friend and support to every staff member and student who have ever had the wonderful opportunity to know her over those 23 years. She is the definition of kindness. She goes out of her way to make sure that any senior who needs senior pictures have them. She'll go above and beyond the call of duty as a teacher to make sure that students have the necessities they need, particularly in order to attend school events like prom or graduation. She's been recognized with awards from the state of Michigan, the Branch Intermediate School District, and the staff here at Coldwater for the positive impact she has had on her students. She was even the homecoming Grand Marshal in 2021 and has uh, personally made all of the homecoming signs that you see hanging on the parade cars for over 20 years. Thank you to Mrs. Buckland for bringing your kindness, friendship, laughter, and focus on compassion to the students and staff of Coldwater High School for all of these years. We don't know how you have done it for all of these years, but we do know that we will never be the same when you are gone. Thank you for changing the lives of so many students, staff members, and families in this community over the past 36 years. We wish you the best and expect to still see you on the sidelines with your camera. Mrs. Buckland. Ha <laughs> ha! 
And now I'd like to introduce once again Mrs. Searles. So I have the honor today to um, be the presenter to say goodbye to Mr. Milnes. So I have a I have a Kleenex, but I don't know if I'll need more. Mr. Milnes told me some things to put in um, this speech today, but what he doesn't know is I got some information from the staff, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mr. Milnes started his career in high school education as a cardinal right here at CHS, as a graduate in the class of 1986. So it is fitting that he is ending his career in education here as a cardinal as well. After earning his math and science teaching degree from Michigan State University, Mr. Milnes actually taught the choir classes at Leg Middle School in CHS for about three months when the choir teacher was out due to her back surgery. He was a math and science teacher, but everyone knew how much he loved performing music, both here at CHS and at MSU. Then he taught math and science classes both in Quincy and Leg Middle School, school before serving as the high school principal for Quincy High School for 11 years. It was his dream to be able to come back to CHS, and for the last 15 years, he, is, he was grateful to have been able to live out that dream to his fullest. Over these years, Mr. Milnes has worked hard to help build up the cardinal spirit within everyone he comes in contact with. One of his greatest joys is watching someone or a group of students express their spirit loudly as they lead others with their cheers, as he knows the true cardinal spirit is something much bigger than any one person. He loves to brag about how amazing the students are here at CHS and the incredible staff of adults who all work together to, as well as a family supporting the students and each other. The staff helped me by sharing some of their favorite memories of Mr. Milnes. When he first arrived, um, he wore a red, an orange shirt, uh, reminiscent of Quincy for the red out day. That's when they realized he is truly colorblind. We're happy to say since then, he has been repped in Cardinal Red. Witnessing his proud dad moments as his two daughters traveled the halls of CHS. He leads cheers in our assemblies. Who are we? Cardinal! The strength he showed while overcoming cancer. We've always got Bill's back. Ultimate host of prom red carpet, right? Master announcer of names at graduation. The host of old man karaoke on our days of engagement. He's an amazing singer at school-wide events and sporting contests. He's seen and hearing the pride of his parents and sisters they have in him as the principal of CHS and hearing him say time and time again, there it, is there anything I can do to help you? What a kind soul, a true gentleman, and class act that we have been lucky enough to have as our principal. As he has stated, it is his hope that he has been able to inspire others to grow beyond what they may have thought was their potential, and to feel the same indescribable love that he has for this school and community. He is very grateful for all of the support he has received, both professionally and more importantly, personally, over all these years. Now, after 15 years, it is time for Mr. Mills to finally graduate 
from CHS one last time. He will join the class of 2023 as they all say goodbye to the halls of CHS. They are leaving physically, but they will always carry a little bit of that cardinal spirit with them wherever they go. Good luck, Mr. Milnes, on your next adventure. Like he always says, it is a great time to be a cardinal, and a cardinal he will always be. And never forget, go Cards! Thank you, Mrs. Searles, and the staff, that's for sure, and the students. At this time in our assembly, we want to take some time to recognize the seniors who have dedicated themselves um, not only in their classrooms and in our clubs, but also on our athletic team. So I'm going to bring up our athletic director to recognize our seniors in the class of 2023 who have been on one of our athletic teams. Give it up for Mr. Farmer. Well, thank you very much for letting me follow that round of applause up. Hi, everybody. Before I announce the awards for our student athletes that have earned an athletic award throughout their career here at CHS, I want to make sure I congratulate the class of 2023 for all they've done, all they've endured, and I truly wish you the best in your future endeavors. All award winners, your certificates or plaques are going to be over here behind the stage. You can pick them up after the ceremony. Every year, the Interstate 8 Athletic Conference selects the top 10 scholar athletes. These are the top 10 seniors with the highest GPAs in their graduating class while earning two varsity letters their senior year. We've also had the ceremony back in April and they have received their awards. However, we would like to recognize them here today. If you could please hold your award or hold your applause until all 10 are announced. The I-8 Scholar Athletes for the graduation cl graduating class of 2023, Edward Ariaro, Austin Atkins, Stephen Colville, Brady Crabtree, Randy Dudick, Garrett Johns, Heidi Katz, Brooklyn Carey, Hunter Munson, and Aiden Stepp. Please stand or come up to the stage. <laughs> Congratulations once again. Michigan Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association established a scholarship for seniors. To be eligible, the minimum GPA of, of the senior has to be a 3-5 or higher on a four-point scale. A letter of support from a school staff member must have earned a varsity letter in two different varsity sports while they attended high school. Complete the application with the approval of the principal and myself. The finalist for the MI AAA award from Coldwater is Stephen Koval. Congratulations, Stephen. The final award that will be presented by somebody that you probably know. For the last couple years, for the last couple years, he has announced football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer games. Bodie Bates, please come up and present the final athletic award.
First off, I want to say thank you to everyone in attendance. This is a very big honor of mine, so thank you. As you can tell, I'm really nervous right now, which I'm never during a baseball game. <laughs> but let's get on with it. This award is for seniors that have earned at least one varsity letter in their high school career. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance, please hold your applause until the end because we have 85 seniors that have earned at least one varsity letter. Seniors, after you hear your name, please stand and remain standing until you, all of your classmates have been recognized. All award winners, your certificates or plaques are behind the stage and can be picked up after the ceremony. Here are your 85 seniors that have won at least one varsity letter. I'll cost me, I'll cost me with one in soccer. Eduardo Arroyo with three in soccer and two in track. Austin Atkins with two in soccer and one in football. Myself, Bodie Bates, with two in football. Jesse Belt with one in football. Sam Bernard with one in track. Alexis Bills with four in softball. Clara Bullman with one in swim and one in gymnastics. Abraham Campos with one in soccer. Christian Clark with one in tennis. Michaela Clark with one in swimming. Logan Kleckner with two in bowling. Chase Cockrell with one in wrestling. Carter Collins with two in wrestling. Stephen Koval with two in soccer, basketball and track, and one in golf. Brady Crabtree with two in football and track. Eliza Douglas with two in tennis. Randy Dudek with four in swimming and gymnastics. Brooklyn Feldbauer with three in soccer. Sydney Gallup with two in gymnastics. Caitlin Garcia with one in basketball. Sofia Gomez with one in swimming and one in tennis. Bashar Hajaji with one in soccer. Kevin Hall with three in football and wrestling and track. Charisma Harrington with one in cheer. Riley Harvey with two in swim. Jillian Hauber with three in tennis. Cameron Heineman with three in baseball. Cole Heineman with three in baseball. Trevor Hensinger with one each in football, soccer, basketball, and track. Deegan Herlin with four in wrestling and one in track. Skylar Horn with one each in cross country and track. Celion Imberti with one in basketball. Danielle Jasso with two in soccer. Garrett Johns with one in football and three in baseball. Austin Johnson with four in bowling. Maverick Johnson with two in football, three in wrestling, and one in track. Abigail Jones with three in track. Jaquayden Jones with one in wrestling. Parker Jones with one in tennis and one in golf. Heidi Katz with one in cross country and three in track. Ilsa Katz with two in track. Blake Kelly with two in golf. Brooklyn Carey with one in volleyball, two in basketball, and four in softball. Kyra Klotz with one in softball. Carly Nisley with one in gymnastics and four in softball. Zachary Lewis with two in football, one in wrestling, and one in track. Chase Leidy with two in football, one in wrestling, and two in track. Cohen Lazinski with two in swimming. Emma Madden with three in tennis. Karen Mancera Rodriguez with two in soccer. Jitsiri Martinez Robles with three in track. Cody Morick with three in wrestling. Harper Mueller Michael with three in swimming. Hunter Munson with three in football, wrestling, and in track. Shakira Mokit with one in track. Josephine Newman with one in tennis. Jonathan Nedzwicki with three in tennis. Pedro Ocampo with one in soccer. Haroon Omar with two in cross country and three in track. Alexa Omo with one in swim. Brianna Omo with three in softball. Emmanuel Ortiz with three in tennis. Haley Potter with one in soccer. Tegan Rabido with one in cheer and one in gymnastics. Aroa Ramos Galvez with one in track. Riley Rice with four in softball. Alex Roby with two in football and one in track. Jaden Roby with one in track. Chase Rubley with four in bowling. Elijah Sloan with two in basketball. Aiden Stepp with two in football. Callie Stout with one in volleyball. Kendall Safransky with three in track. 
Isabella Tenney with one in softball. Sorry, this is the last page. <laughs> Nolan Thomas with three in football. Liam Van Wagner with two in swim. Chloe Vickers with two in cross country and one in track. Estrella Villa with one in soccer. Violet Walkie with three in bowling and volleyball and one in track. Ethan Woodcox with two in cross country and track. Dante Work with three in both football and basketball. Yasin Yaya with one in soccer. Michaela Yuhas Jones with one in track. And Hisham Zamzami with one in soccer. Congratulations, athletes. Nice job. Let's give it up for Mr. Bates one more time. Yes. <laughs> Moving along, I'd like to bring back up to the microphone your president, Miss Riley Rice. I apologize in advance. This is probably going to be the one that I cry about. So, the custom of passing the cane from senior to junior class is a long-standing tradition for many years. It symbolizes the bond that exists between classes and the new life that we as seniors are about to begin. I will now be putting our class ribbon on to the spirit stick. the honor to pass the cane down to one of my very close friends, Morgan Dancer. We've been friends since we were very, very little, and it's an honor to pass it down to her. Our class ribbon has now been added, our chapter at CHS students has now been written, and as the president of the class of 2023, I pass this cane and all of its traditions over to Morgan Dancer, the president next year for the class of 2024. I hope you and your class have a great senior year. Before we begin, I would like to preface this by saying that I'm not up here to give any life advice, because if we're being realistic, most of you know more about life outside of high school than I do. As president of the class of 2024, I want to take this moment to congratulate the class of 2023 on their upcoming graduation and thank them for their leadership. Furthermore, I would like to acknowledge that their influence has extended far beyond their high school years. When they advanced to sixth grade and entered the middle school, we eagerly came running to them, wanting to know what awaited us. When they advanced to ninth grade and entered the high school, we all rushed to them once again, wanting to know what it was all about. They shared their experiences with us each time and put our fears to rest. So I'm sorry, seniors, if you thought you were getting rid of us, because I can promise you that next year won't be any different. Every student in this gymnasium has had the pleasure of knowing one of you, whether it be a teammate, a classmate, a confidant, or a best friend. This isn't goodbye, because hopefully you all pick up the phone and give us the rundown once again. Now, I gladly accept this cane that your wonderful class president passed on to me and the tradition that it represents. It serves as a bond between you and the future classes of Coldwater High School. I wish you all the best of luck and can only hope that every class following yours is able to match the precedent that you set for them. Thank you. Well, all the underclassmen, you'll be happy to hear that we are almost done. But seniors, I know that's probably very heartbreaking, and even for the parents. But one of the last people to come up is going to be one of my very best friends, Julia Kirk, your vice president, for her closing remarks. Hello, parents, 
faculty, and community members. I would first like to thank all of you for being here today. It is a privilege to stand before you and witness this beautiful celebration of our achievements. The class of 2023 would not be here wearing our caps and gowns today without the encouragement from all of you. I would now like to take a moment to address my class. We did it. Every laugh, every hurdle, every bit of hard work has brought you to where you are today. And I extend my most sincere congratulations to all of you. Although our time at Coldwater High School is ending, I want all of you to know that right now is the beginning. You're about to begin your adult lives. Embrace that. As you write your next chapter, do so with excitement and enthusiasm. Being a fresh graduate and venturing into adulthood is something we only experience once. Never let it pass you by. Be 18. Spend time with the people you love and always take time to enjoy the little things. As our convocation ceremony comes to an end, I would like to express my gratitude once more. These past four years have been a blast. I will never forget the unique experiences I've had. Every one of you has had an impact on my life. I know you all will do great things. Finally, I want to remind you to always live in the moment because these are moments you can never relive. Thank you. And um, you thought that was the end, but it's actually not. I have one last surprise. Hey, yo, last day. We made it through the strike. Time is up. Go and start your life. From freshman to senior, we've come so far. Now we're here, spitting every bar. Got your cover to presidents. That's how we set the precedent. Feels so short. Wonder how the time is moving. Got homecoming, graduation. Wait, Kanye, who? Never on top, never most popular. Yeah, we got brains though. We some philosophers constantly debating, never hesitating. We always know the facts. We never speculating. We made it here today. We're really all the same. Couldn't leave any of our bros out of the game. Co on our high school. We got the cardinal craze. Now we're all here singing good old days. We don't need awards to be respected. We're talented, connected, and properly directed. We break the stigma unlike any on the map. What other class would turn the poem into a rap? Class of 23, listen to my rhyme. Live in the moment, what we have is sublime. Don't forget now, go and thank your mama. Go cards! Ask your mama! Boy, I tell you, that's a way to go out with a great one. Amazing. So please, <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Um, uh, please remember, as we're going to end our ceremony here with the band playing loyalty, can we give it up for the band one more time as well? <laughs> that would, before we give one final cheer for the class of 2023, just a reminder, all students and parents, you are invited to exit the gymnasium into that direction into our back parking lot to make their final Cardinal Spirit Tunnel, leading them over toward the sidewalk at the Aquatic Center. Again, parents, if it is your desire to get uptown in time to meet the students as they take their walk, you may want to directly go there as well. Seniors, remember, you stay here. We'll get you, you can get your awards. We'll get you lined up in a couple minutes to go outside. So let's give the class of 2023 one more big, huge round of applause. Let's hear that loyalty.
out there soon. Seniors, you might want to come grab your athletic <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 